was a tragic time for many people. It was a trauma that happened on in the United States, in New York City, not far from me and Darren, about three hours at the Twin Towers. And I think everybody can remember where they were or what they were doing around September 11th. I got some audio clips I want to play. I've played it before, but it's been almost 10 years. And uh, I want to revisit the audio tower that uh, transmitted some things because it relates to the conspiracy of of 9-11. But first, my website is jimdukeperspective.com. You could uh, go there and connect with me there and check out the uh, articles and such and the, and the podcast on, on the, uh, in the articles. Uh, you could also connect with me on social media, on Twitter and Facebook, Jim Duke Perspective. And I do have a Patreon page. If you want to con uh, contribute a pledge, you can do that there. So Darren, um, this 9-11 is, uh, I, I, everybody can almost tell you where they were at 9-11. Why yep. is that? Because it must have been such an impactful event that, I mean, I know where I was is in the garage making a mirror for oh, somebody. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, because I, I was doing mirrors at the time, cutting out fancy mirrors. It was called Ar Arnita. Some guy was, he liked this lady, Arnita. So he bought a, one of the mirrors that I make for her, you know. But I remember wow. I was doing, my dad came in the garage. You hear the news? I'm like, no, what? The towers are down. I'm like, what? <laughs> so, so I went in and looked, and sure enough, well, everybody can tell you. Now, if I said to you, what did you do on September 14th? Ooh. That year. Two days later, Darren, can you tell me what you did? No idea. But nope. I bet you on September 11th, you can almost tell me what you did when you woke up, what you ate for breakfast. Do you see how mind control works? Mm-hmm. You stamp a trauma in somebody's head and they remember things that are going on. But you can't remember anything significant on any other days that people just randomly throw out. Let me ask you this. You know exactly where you were at nine o'clock on September 11th. Where were you at 10 o'clock on September 10th? PM or AM? Uh, either. Either one. No idea. See? Yep. It proves that there's a stamp memory when we get traumatized. That's mm -hmm. how psyops work. And it puts an embeddedment of, of a tra tragic in our minds. So we go there and we almost are disabled by the events of thinking about it. I remember what I was doing. I happened to be listening to NPR news. Why was I listening to NPR if I'm so-called uh, conservative? Because I used to get a kick out of hearing their take on politics and such. And their relaxing tone, I kind of would just kind of listen to what they were saying in their liberal mind. They'd say the exact opposite of what conservatives said on their end. But I happen to be listening to NPR news and I was driving to Broad Alban above Amsterdam. And I got there and I heard a breaking in of the NPR and it was British, believe it or not, BBC. And they said planes planes came down and 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 I and I and I went, "Whoa, what happened in England?" I'm thinking because it's BBC reporting it on that it happened to be a BBC hour on NPR. I happened to think it was Th thought it was uh, something happened in Europe. And then I think I, I think I didn't know until I walked into the, uh, into the, in, into the booth that I was uh, checking in on my delivery. And they said, Oh, did you hear what just happened? And I said, what? They said, the planes hit the tower, twin towers. One plane hit the, at that point, one plane hit the twin tower. And I went, Oh my gosh. The first thing I thought of was terrorist action or something deliberately sabotage. And then my second thought was, did a pilot just kind of misguide, misdirect something? But my first thing was something was something deliberately hit. 
And then they said the second one hit. It was like right after that, because uh, so it must have been just a little into it. But um, yeah, it's amazing that we can remember we have that stamp memory. And for other people who are affected personally, they knew the people, some people there, they had loved ones killed in the rubble. And to them, it's a traumatic time. It's a hard time for them to get through. You know, just like any time you're, you know, a parent dies um, or a person, a loved one dies, you, you, you know the date. I mean, you kind of remember the date. Actually, I don't remember when my mother passed. I don't remember the exact date. But many people do remember the date, but they don't remember everything. In this, everybody would remember when their loved ones died, what they were doing, what, what they were eating, the news around it. It's 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 it must have been the greatest psyop trauma based mind control experiment in modern history. That saying that the official narrative was incredible, I'm saying. If we were to count it as a conspiracy. You got to remember at that time. They had an excuse to go into five countries. They went into Libya. Saudi Arabia, or not Saudi Arabia, Libya, uh, Iraq, Afghanistan. Uh, there was a couple other countries they went into, and they said for for the cause of terrorism, to rein in on terrorism. Yet Wesley Clark claims that there were plans to go into seven countries and those five countries and two more before 9-11. So what are they trying to pull here? Well, was that an, an excuse? Yeah, there was an agenda. Oh, absolutely. The secret society agenda of, you know, everything they have planned for us, including Operation, or not, it's um, the Patriot Act. Yeah, the Patriot, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So speaking of, it was it was they dismantled them their their government for democracy to force a centralized government on them but at the same time it gave way for the acceptance of certain surveillance uh like you said the patriot act to surrender freedom for security we accepted mounting cameras up we accepted asking citizens to surrender their privacy and disclose all information it relegates us as Fish in a fishbowl, essentially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The NSA that were accused of spying on citizens and collecting information on them and using a database and uh, using sophisticated programming like PRISM programming from DARPA, previously demonized, was now acceptable and almost expected and made the public aware that, yes, they've been doing this and, uh, and obviously for good causes. And it yielded everybody to give way to the acceptance of surveillance on them. Yet, despite all the intel they said was on it, despite all the things they said that they had surveillance, despite the fact that they were already planning on going into countries, they could still not prevent the incident. Anyway. Came down, I confirmed the, uh, that it is the hijack. Okay, if you learn anything else, please give us a call so we can help you out as best we can. Does New York know about uh, this guy? Hit New York the, uh, knows, uh, Cleveland knows, uh, maybe Washington will be next. We're going to scramble some fighters to tail them. Okay, so that's the one audio. This is the second one. This is where I really want you to listen to. Uh, this is a continuation. Hawkins Military Boston Center just had a report that American 11 is still in the air and it's on its way towards heading towards Washington. American All right. Did you hear that? It's heading towards Washington. Towards Washington. I thought it hit the Twin Towers. Oh, right. All right. Listen. Wow. Another, it was only another aircraft that hit the tower. That's the latest report we have. 